All right. Page 263, number 9. We're given this shape. W, X, Y, Z, and there's a segment ZX in there. And we're given WX is congruent to XY, which is congruent to YZ, which is congruent to ZW. And we want to prove angle W is congruent to angle Y. All right, can we label anything? All right, yeah, absolutely. We're given a bunch of congruent segments in this case. WX is congruent to XY, which is congruent to YZ which is congruent to ZW. And now we want to prove that angle W here we want to prove that those two angles are congruent to each other. So we labeled, and now we need to start the proof, right? All right, so un un I don't want to say unfortunately, but to, for the proof, WX is congruent to XY, which is congruent to YZ, which is congruent to ZW. And that's given. Now, there are two triangles, triangle one, triangle two here. How many sides does this give us in the triangles? Two of them. So I have side and a side. Now, with side and side, uh, do I know anything about any of the angles in here? No, there's no information about angles. We just want to prove stuff about angles. We want to prove that they're congruent. But it doesn't tell us a thing about them. But what special segment do we have in here? A shared side. ZX is a shared side. So, what can I say about that? ZX is congruent to itself. And what's the uh, property we use? Reflexive. And I'll just put under here shared side. Now, with these two things, now I have a third side. So I can put two marks in here. Is that enough to prove two triangles are congruent? Absolutely. So these two paths lead to our ability to say that triangle ZWX is congruent to triangle ZYX and what's the test? Side, side, side. So now can we just jump to what we need to prove? And what's the reason? 
Yep, CPTCC. CPCT. Congruent parts, congruent triangles, parent. Okay. And then, are we done? We wanted to prove this guy, and we were able to. QED. We're good to go.